Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Hair. <laughs> I am so sorry, but um, uh, your comments sometimes just take me so out of track. It's not even funny. Albert, who's back home, says, Too quiet here. Where are the dogs, church bells, and Sweet Caroline? Sweet Caroline, this has to do with, uh, well, let's just say... Um, if I had $10 for every time I see a group of people drinking and singing Sweet Caroline, so good, so good, um, my home studio would look a lot prettier. Anyhow, um, welcome to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook, where we gather information for our amusement, for our inspiration, and to get our butts off our chairs and go explore things and that's precisely what we're going to do today we have some news items but then we have some other things that will hopefully encourage us or encourage me to get off my bum and go out and about and do some fun things um today is wednesday march 8 as always we welcome everyone that is joining us this morning particularly those of you that are watching live for the first time welcome to the crazy if you'd like to let us know that you're here and you are new, just write the word new in your comment and we'll be so very happy to give you um, a nice little welcome. And if there's something really important on your mind, something that you don't want us to miss, it helps a great deal if you add a capital letter Q at the beginning of your comment. Let's dive in. Oh, hold on. Do, 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 do. Boink. There you go. Once upon a time, Puerto Vallarta used to be a city with a large number of beaches certified by Blue Flag, the international nonprofit that certifies beaches and marinas in 77 member countries. Now, several city administrations came and went, and the latest city administrations either lost interest or dropped the ball in keeping our beaches up to international standards. The good news is that this negative trend seems to be reverting as both the city administration and local hotels are keen on reclaiming some much needed blue flag status. The National Jury of Blue Flag Mexico informed that a large number of submissions for renewal were received from Puerto Vallarta for the 2023-24 to 24 season, including Camarones, Palmares, Playa de Oro, and Sheraton. In addition, both the Marriott and the Westin submitted their beaches for appraisal. Now, if we take a quick look into the Blue Flag Global site, where you can see all the beaches and marinas that are certified, in participating countries, we can see that at the present time, there are four beaches in Puerto Vallarta that are certified by Blue Flag. 
starting from top to bottom with Playa de Oro. Then we have the Sheraton Beach next to Los Camarones Beach in El Centro. And then we have Playa Palmares south of Puerto Vallarta. Uh, just so you know, in Mexico, the leading destination with most certified beaches is Los Cabos, with 25 beaches up for renewal, followed by Quintana Roo, with 22 beaches in four destinations. And um, if you're not fami familiar with the Blue Flag certification, it goes beyond clean water and so forth and so on. You know, they really look at all the amenities. Um, and it's not that a beach has to have a, a ton of amenities. They look at a lot of different factors, whether it's safe to swim, whether it's safe to enjoy, whether there's proper disposal of garbage and so forth and so on. So it is a um, certification that is really, really important. And um, I always get happy when I see that the city is paying attention to this, given the fact that we're supposed to be this most popular beach destination in Mexico. Moving right along, let's talk about a sinkhole. Tribuna de la Bahia has received reports of a sinkhole along Prisciliano Sanchez Avenue, and this one is the, the avenue that heads from Sam's at the Maritime Terminal towards Aramara and Pitillal. Well, this sinkhole apparently is growing deeper due to a caca water leak that is making the ground sink. I had no idea that caca water was that powerful. In any event, if you are heading from the Maritime Terminal towards Aramara or Pitillal, along Prisciliano Sanchez, do watch for this hole as um, this could be a stinky mess and you, you never know what could happen when you're driving along it. Um, let's take a look at the weather. <laughs> it's sunny out. Yay, skin cancer, says our snarky weatherman. It's 25 degrees. Oh, my goodness. 25 degrees right now, but humidity is low at 28%. Had we seen 28% humidity before? I don't think so. And for those of you that are Fahrenheit devotees, it's 77 degrees outside. Our weather forecast for today. Clear through the day with a high of 29 and a low of 17 and then tomorrow, Thursday, mostly cloudy through the day with a high of 29 and a low of 18. Friday, we wrap the work week with a partly cloudy day with a high of 30 and a low of 19. Moving right along, I, I have to share something that really moved my heart in a wonderful way this morning. Uh, yesterday, Chris Brewer just popped a very innocent question on, on on the comments. When you're out and about, what is your go-to street vendor and what is it you have and enjoy? And I believe I answered this, but then I turned it to you and asked, so who are your favorite street vendors? And I have to tell you, reviewing yesterday's comments this morning just gave me a warm, fuzzy feeling because... It's clear to me that many of you have made it a habit, a mission, or a pleasure, I don't know, to support local vendors or street vendors in your area. If so, if you want to be as inspired as I was, or maybe even more, go back and read the comments from yesterday's broadcast. You may not necessarily be able to find exactly who the people are that everybody's commenting on or where to find them, but again, my takeaway about this comment, or these comments rather, is how committed you are as a community to supporting local vendors. As we say in Mexico, me quito el sombrero, I remove my hat in appreciation. But not all is good in uh, the things that I saw this morning. I also saw this meme uh, that I want to share with you because it may or may not be fair, but the, apparently there's a Facebook page called Memes Vallarta. And this has to do with situations going on in town. So I'm going to translate because I think it's, it's actually revealing. This top square has to do with 
hotel owners at present time. And the woman, of course, looks angst, looks troubled. And this says, I don't know why in Vallarta nobody wants to work. Uh, and of course, this is this says at the top, hotel owners at present time. And then the bottom one says hotel owners all the time. And these are some of the things that hotel owners supposedly offer employees. The first one says, okay, I'll pay you 800 pesos a week and I am taking a chance on you. The second one is, oh, the hotel is two hours away from your home, but pay no mind. The third line says, oh, we will fire you every three months so that you will not um, uh, uh, reach seniority. Uh, and then the bottom one says, if you don't like it, there are more people that want to work with us. And I'm not saying that all hotels behave or work this way, but let me tell you, there are a lot of hotels that, um, for better or worse, or there are some hotels, I don't want to be caught exaggerating, there are a number of hotels out there that do make it difficult for for employees to gain any kind of seniority or antiquity in in in, in and to get access to uh, all kinds of benefits that large companies should be able to provide. So there's something really telling in this meme. And again, this is not the kind of thing that affects us directly, but it is clear to me, and I wonder what your thoughts are on the matter, if you care to comment, that after the pandemic, um, or after the worst of the pandemic, a lot of businesses are not are not getting it and are not providing employees enough incentive to come back to work. I could be wrong. I'm not in the hotel business. I am fortunate enough to know that the hotel owners that I know are very responsible hotel owners. But I wonder what your thoughts are on this matter. Moving right along, I also saw something else on Facebook that caught my attention and and gave me a nice little lesson on something that I want to talk about first. You know, I don't get to galleries, art galleries, as often as I could or I should. Um, no, actually, should is a horrible word. But sometimes it's easy to forget how gratifying it is to visit local art galleries because when you look at what people are creating with their talent, uh, sometimes there are glimpses into our own reality. Long story short, I was browsing this morning uh, Facebook. I was browsing to, looking for news and I was completely captivated by this painting. This painting is an oil on canvas by an artist by the name of Bart Pass. It is called Tacos Memo at Twilight. And I found it on the Facebook page of the Loft Art Gallery, where John Strawn has uh, curated as an owner uh, a number of beautiful works by local artists. And I cannot even begin to tell you what it is about this painting that captivated me. It may be the fact that it depicts something local. It may be the fact that it talks about tacos. It may be the colors. But looking at this painting this morning reminds me that a lot of times in my process of building music appreciation lectures, a lot of people sometimes might say, well, I don't understand music. I don't understand jazz. I don't understand classical music. Well, you know, you can or not understand it, but the bottom line is you may like it or you may not. And looking at this painting this morning is a nice reminder for myself, hopefully for you too, that it's not about understanding art. It, it, it has to start with, with love at first sight. So what I'm trying to say, and I'm going to leave a link to this painting, I wish somebody will buy it. I would if I could afford it, um, but um, and I don't even know how much it is. Maybe it is not inex. It, maybe it is not expensive. The point I'm trying to make is get out whenever you can, and explore the local art galleries, and you will find fascinating paintings and fascinating stories behind the paintings. Again, um, 
I was just mesmerized with this one. I don't know that I can tell you why, but again, it's time to go out and explore some galleries. Thank you, John. Thank you, John Strawn, the owner of, of, uh, of the, the Loft Gallery for posting these things on Facebook because that's where the love affair begins for many of us. And that's it. I'm done glowing about the painting. I also want to tell you that um, I found this article that was published by Travel and Leisure about Guadalajara because it was shared by our very own governor, Enrique Alfaro. It is a very gay positive article on the city of Guadalajara in light of the fact that our capital city is gearing up to co-host the 2023 gay games. But of course, you don't have to be gay to appreciate the Guadalajara city mindset of, um, of a very progressive city. And in fact, in the article, uh, Travel and Leisure calls the state of Jalisco one of the most progressive states in all of Latin America. So there you have it. I'm going to leave this link for an article in English in the show notes. And last but not least, um, you know that I love my Vox explainer videos and articles. And given the fact that the Academy Awards are this weekend, you might enjoy this article also in English, focusing on what Vox is calling the most populist Oscars in a long time. And this brings us to the end of what I prepared for you today. Let's take a quick look at your thoughts and comments on some of these things that we shared today. Pim pim pim. Starting with your good mornings, which I love. Uh, Den says, looking forward to learning more about jazz tomorrow. That makes two of us. I'll have you know, Den, that last night I had an epiphany, which means that I need to rebuild the last 15 minutes of the lecture because I found something really, really wonderful that I want to share. But, you know, it's all worth it, and I am looking forward to that. Yay. Uh, let's see what else is going on. René is counting days. I will be in Puerto Vallarta, Nuevo Nayarit, in 43 more days. Good for you. Uh, let's see what else we have. <laughs> I know it's not Monday. It just feels that way. I love it. Mm. Oh, absolutely. Happy International Women's Day to all in the cluster. Absolutely. Thank you very much for that reminder, Suzanne. Um, you know, Gwen, I know you're happy to have your baby brother back, but let me tell you, I got a better chance to meet him and spend time with him this time around, and I want to marry into the family. I really do. Okay, let's see. Sweet Caroline sung every Sunday night at the Italian restaurant across the street. Don't get me started. Hmm. What about the Costa Alegre beaches? Well, Angelica, it's very simple. You will find the, the show notes today and you will find the website for Blue Flag and you will find if any beaches south of Puerto Vallarta are certified or not. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, hello, John. I'm so glad that you're joining us this morning again. Um, I love the painting. What wonderful piece of work, piece of art. Uh, let's see. Chris says, off to Miss Maloya Grill tonight for pizza night, sourdough, sourdough crust. Can't wait. It's been too long since we've been fantastic pizza service and beautiful sunsets. You know, I've heard about Miss Maloya Grill. It's so much out of my neck of the woods that I've never been able to check it out. But um, feel free uh, to let us know how it goes. 
Felix has an excellent point. That is why I treat every hotel resort worker with high respect and kindness. They work so hard for very little and many support their families versus personal gain. I totally agree with you, Felix. Um, it does not take much effort. In fact, I don't think it takes any effort at all to treat workers in general with a kind, gentle, respectful attitude. And it is unfortunate when we see um, instances of people behaving badly. I can totally agree with you. The least we can do with local workers of any kind is to treat them with the dignity and respect and kindness they deserve. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ooh, Scott and Gwen are heading our way. Excellent. Logan says, Tacos Memos is the very first nighttime taco stand we would frequent when I first arrived here in PB, right down the hill from my first house, and I continue to frequent, frequent them regularly until about a year and a half ago when I moved Colonias. There you go. Um, my pleasure, John. If you guys have not gone to visit the Lot Gallery, um, I wouldn't be surprised. The gallery is on a second story and it is always a little bit extra challenging for businesses that are not at street level. But please go visit John Strawn's gallery on a, on a second story. You will not be disappointed. Um, we went to Galleria Dante last week. There's another wonderful place to stroll with so much variety of, of works to be able to enjoy there. There you have it. And of course, let us remember that Galleria Dante has been doing all this, all these events on Friday nights. And I'm sure that uh, John's The Loft Galleria is part of the Wednesday night art walk in El Centro. Let's see. At Costa Sur, they seem to keep their workers and we tip our are made 100 pesos a day and buy squares for the workers on the day of Super Bowl. Only one of our picks one for a spa worker. Uh, the last part of your comment didn't make much sense to me, but Costa Sur is a beautiful resort. I've often gone there for day pass, not in a while, but it's a good place for day pass. Um... I agree with Love at First Sight with art. One of my favorites is the initial sight of colors, shapes, and other person's views. Well, I think, Spencer, that's exactly what grabbed me about this painting. I think is it is beautiful. Albert, you can be my past, present, and future ex-husband. In fact, you're already my future ex-husband, and you know it. And I know you're a straight boy, but I don't care. I'm going to continue to flirt with you from a distance. Uh, let's see. The last comment that I see comes from Michael. And yes, Puerto Vallarta has some amazing art galleries. Again, this is not so much about whether we can afford them or not. It is easy to take for granted how much beautiful art is created in our city. So I welcome you to rekindle your relationships with local art galleries. Go out and have a look you'd be surprised at how many wonderful things you'll find out there. And this brings us to the end of today's Coffee and Headlines. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. As always, I look forward to your comments and your questions every day. Um, we appreciate your support. And um, sometimes I forget to say that, but please remember that we are here because you support Coffee and Headlines through memberships and occasional coffees, and we are very grateful for that. And now, back to the how to listen to jazz drawing board. I'll make some last minute changes to my lecture for tomorrow afternoon. And so it goes. Have an awesome Wednesday, and I'll see you again soon.